What's up everybody, it's CMP with Craftmaster Productions and Studio12Tutorials.com Don't forget to stop by Studio12Tutorials, pick up your premium membership, it is 50 cents a day And don't forget to stop by CMPKits.com Get yourself a copy of Ski Mask Samples Volume 11, 94 one shots, 15 premium compositions and the stems Probably the first time I've done the stems, might be the last time, I don't know um, Also guys, we're going to be looking at... Uh, uh, working inside Studio One, this is not going to work in FL Studio or Ableton Live. We are working in Studio One today. So what I want to talk to you guys about is a workflow enhancement. Now, I have been using the MPC Live 100% in standalone for a uh, for the entire time that I've had it. And it's a fun workflow at times, um, but there's just some times where I want to do things inside my DAW. It's not, uh, I'm just not able to do inside of the MPC. And it was a little bit annoying. Like, you know, sometimes I want to use a MIDI file, right? For, you know, a MIDI drum pattern that, I, that I've created out of one of my templates, right? And when you loaded a, a MIDI, a, a MIDI a file into, uh, into the MPC, it makes you do it in a separate, um, in a separate program or a separate sequence, which is just like, that's not what I wanted to do, bro. Um, so what I'm going to show you how to do is I'm going to show you how I use drag and drop, um, to my advantage um i use and the reason why i use drag and drop to my advantage is because i like to work in audio because it makes it easier to use pipeline so i could go out to my silver bullet i could go out to my zulu i could go out to my guitar pedals color my samples and my drums however i choose right on top of that if i want to use drum midi i can go ahead and do this um by utilizing by utilizing the studio one piano roll um real simple real easy that way i could keep the process going so Basically, in order to in order to do what I am uh, what I'm going to show you guys, there's a couple settings that you need to take note of real quick. Um, the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come to edit, and you're going to want to go to preferences, right? And you want to make sure that you have your hardware the record overdub feature you want to set that to be controlled by the mpc plugin um i have the way that i work is i have a uh, i have a fader port so i don't want the transport of the mpc to control my daw i do that from the fader port um what i want to be able to do is while the beat is playing i want to be able to hit uh, the overdub button and have it and have it bring on um have it bring on the overdub function strictly inside of the MPC, right? Um, for project defaults, I set the default sequence to four bars because I work in double time. Um, record and export, you could pretty much keep that all the same. And then inside of general, I like to change this. Um, I, I like to change this to uh, Elastic Pro um, for the time stretch in case I decide to chop a sample inside of the uh, the MPC. I'm using actual awesome time stretch and not the gross sounding time stretch from the MPC because that shit is just not good. Now, um, the way that you, the way that you'll typically see me work in a in a stream or something is I'll take a loop. So for example, I have inside of inside of my MPC, if you look at if you look at my different pads, I have these different groups which have different different sounds so I've got different flavors of snares different flavors of kicks so on and so forth so this way I'm already preloaded I'm uh, I'm ready to work right so I can so I can go ahead and run my loop
All right, cool. So I got my, you know, I got my easy free flow in MPC workflow. Now say I wanted to, um, take this in a, in a more, in a more trap style direction. These are, these are on studio one tutorials right now. So, uh, um, the, the, they're free with your subscription. If you go into the Dropbox, if you guys don't have these, um, these are awesome. So what I can do now is I could just go real quick and go to, uh, a, a sample one, just get a placeholder hi hat, right? just to audition while I'm playing my drums that I've played in inside of the MPC and I could just I could go through I can go through these right using the MIDI audition feature inside Studio One. I like this one. This one has a good bounce, right? So I could take this, you know, because of the way that I have my preset set up, um, you know, each each one of the keys on the keyboard that you see me hit, these trigger different, you know, different different drum samples. If I just go into the piano roll, boom, my hi-hat bang starts right there. See it? Now, I actually like that hi-hat, I'm gonna keep it. If you're an MPC enthusiast, what you're gonna say now is you're gonna be like, yo, but CMP, that's trash because you're using the Studio One piano roll to trigger your drums and you don't you don't have access to, um, you know, the, M the MPC's piano roll and the, and the drums do sound different on the MPC's piano roll. That's why we paid the money for this is the way that, you know, the way that they trigger drums, it's different, trust me. And then on top of that, you might want to use the different swing options. Once you have, once you're in the, uh, the studio one, um, piano roll, you can't access these swings. The great thing about this method here is you can re-record this into the MPC piano roll very simply all you have to do is once you have the pattern up you want to make sure that you have your this is very important you want to make sure that you have your time correct set to whatever the the smallest roll is so that's a south side loop i know that i know that it's going to be a 32 a 32 t because if you don't you remember how mc how mpc does when it when it records it's going to auto quantize it and you don't want that so i mean if you want to stay safe if you just set it to 32t all the time when you're recording this you're going to be you're going to be lit right all right now watch Right, I can mute this. And that's typically what I do when you know when I work like this is I will is I will I want all of I want all of the MIDI inside of the actual MPC plugin because trust me, that shit is different and it's worth it. That's why we spent the money on these. Trust me. Trust me. All right, so once I got this, you might be saying like, all right, so what if I want to make changes to the patterns or, you know, so on and so forth, depending on how, depending on how you feel comfortable working, you have one or two options. Uh, the first option that you could do is you can just, you can just go to this sequence right here. Um, you know, you, you know, use another sequence and just, and just create another one. Right. All right. But for me, you know, you know, once I, once I have a diff, once I have a decent loop and, and the way, and the way that I like to arrange and do my stuff, all I need to do is, is get this into audio as soon as possible and then forget about the MPC plugin and keep working. So, um, the, the simplest solution for this is if, if you go to, if you go to this, you click this and you want to export the audio, it's fine. But if you do it in, um, the way this the way this is set up right now you're going to take the whole drum kit you're not going to be able to have the stems in order to have the stems what you want to do is on your mpc controller 
uh, on the track lane, if you hit the pencil, just go ahead and hit the pencil and select explode. It's the it, it's the second option to the right. And what explode does is if you look if you look under tracks right now, now it's taken it's taken my kick and that's and it's on its own track. It's taken it's taking the uh, the snare and it's on its own track. It's taking the hi hat. So now um, I just go to the kick track. I click this. It bounces it for me. I bring it in, boom. I go to, I go to this one. I click this. It brings it in, boom. I do this guy, hi hats. I click, I click this, and we're good. And last one, I bring in my guy right here. Click this. And we're in. All right. So now, now I could take now I could take this plugin, go to an unused sequence, so it's so it's not playing, and I don't I don't have to I don't have to look at that anymore. And then any and then anything else I want to add right now, you know, we're pretty much uh, we're pretty much good to go. So I could go ahead and add an eight oh eight using using the piano roll. <laughs> And then you know, just just as simple as that, I got a you know, I I I got the beat pretty much done. Now, um, you know, now all there is 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 arranging. Um, you know, I already have a pretty, I already have a pretty decent uh, arrangement template already set up here. So, you know, I got my I got my intro coming in here. Different different hooks. Um, I can take in now. I could take and just make little you know, little adjustments to the drums, you know, you might be thinking like, oh, what's the best way to go about editing my drums? You know, I just start doing it in audio. And then, and then working like this will give you, you know, it'll give you different, um, you know, different inspirations for creativity. Like for example, uh, so this is a, this is a little, this is a little, um, type of breakdown that I've been using more and more since getting into this method. So you could do something like this. And then if you know if you wanted to do you know you, you'd be like oh but what if i wanted to change my drum pattern i wanted to make some kick rolls or something no worries man you just go and use use your arrange window the same way you know the same way that you would a piano roll right so you can you can go ahead and take this copy it over this way move this guy here and then you know, just to make sure that you're not sounding funny, just make sure that you're using that you're using crossfades, um, alt X. You know, if you're like, if you're like, oh my god, you know, I need to, you know, I want to, uh, you know, I want to change the velocity of that. Uh, all right, cool, bro, you can do it. You know, it's 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 all right here. There's your velocity. Boom. You go here. All right, you got it. And, and then what this allows me to do, you know, really simple is now I could go, you know, now I could go into pipeline and put this on and start processing this with my analog gear. Or if I want to add more, uh, more instruments, I have, I have access to, you know, I have access to my full, to my full palette of the sounds that I like.
re- it just makes it really simple to use the NPC, to use loops, to use to use MIDI loops, to go ahead and make a pre-master. Everything is set up in this template to use all the stuff that I like. So this is CMP with Craftmaster Productions, Studio1Tutorials.com. You guys keep it simple. Don't be basic. And we will see you on the next one, fam.